Okay. I am here. But. There's an update. <gasps> do, 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 do. So. Y'all. So we might just have it on the screen for a bit. And. I guess talk. I don't know. I guess we could all watch the screen. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Here, I got one. It's the kids' book, and it's a choose your own adventure. <laughs> That's why we're waiting. I don't know if you guys want to see the thing. Uh. Okay, it's the unicorn crown. I don't like reading out loud. Oh my god. Weird. Okay, this one starts off by... Hey, see, so, okay, so I, my, my thing has an application update. So, <laughs> I am going to read a little bit from the Dragon's Tale, Choose Your Own Path thing. I mean, I don't know if you want to watch the blue screen move 34%. That's how far we are. But anyways, okay. So, it says here, just as you think you will... Scream if you have to watch another plate and cook cheerfully drops a stack. The cook, pardon me. The cook cheerfully drops a stack into the big tub. Here's ten more trenchers. Trenchers? For ye. Lori. Lori? Lori? She says, as bubbles float into the air. You sigh and plunge your soapy arms back into the water as you scrub the wooden plates of the manor house. You wonder what it will, it must be like to eat off golden plates or silver or even crystal. It must be magical. Ooh. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Laura, yeah, ye be daydreaming again. Oh my God. Hurry up, girl. Or will never get this kitchen clean in time to fix dinner for his lordship. The cook's hearty voice shatters your thoughts. Yes, ma'am, you say, dutifully drowning your own thoughts. All the same, you're determined to know what it is someday. What it is someday to eat off plates like royalty. And use knives and spoons and linen napkins and wear fine clothes. What era are you on? Because I don't know about this. Okay. And not be a scholarly maid all your life. <laughs> what a boring start to this stream. <laughs> it's not your mother's fault, fine weaver, that she was, that she died before she had a chance to make sure you could be a, an apprentice to a master weaver yourself. His lordship took you in, but like everyone else at the manor, you have to work for your keep. 46% done. I should just get to the thing. Anyways, someday though, someday you will be weaving your beautiful Pictures and tapestries for the new king. You just know it. Hidden away in your room is a spinning wheel and a loom. And you work at them in the few hours you can call your own. Already you've been able to s sell one or two small pieces. Being a, being a kitchen maid the rest of your life is not something you plan to do. The cook stops by you. Dreaming again, Laura? She says, and you look out from the wash tub. The fat, round face of the older woman smiles down at you. Indeed, you should be at your age. With your fine, silken hair and pretty smile, thinking of Mark or Stefan, you blush indeed not. 
do 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 okay with a booming laugh the cook walks by just as the back door to the kitchen swings open mark steps through his curly black hair wind blowing okay black um okay and carry a basket of fresh trout on his shoulder sorry I'm trying to find my thing that is burning my boat he drops it on the kitchen table. Dinner for his lordship, the huntsman says, fresh from the mountain streams this morning. The cook beams happily and begins to count the fish out. You wrinkle your nose. Even though you love the taste of trout, you hate scraping fish bones from the dishes. Another messy dinner to clean up after. I don't know. <laughs> Cecil, I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know how else to entertain you guys. I should have just somehow found out how to do other things. Good morning to you, Miss Laura, Mark says, and makes a debon deboner, whatever, bow as he takes off his jaunty feather cap. He's not much older than you, but has been accepted as a man by the other hunters for his skill with a bow and arrow. You turn away from his deep blue eyes because you have never known if he's serious. He's always smiling and laughing about something. You can't even tell if he likes you or not. Stefan, on the other hand. 62%. Shall I just stop? I don't know. I don't know, no, no. The kitchen door leading to the main hall squeaks open and a tall boy steps through. His honey blonde hair hangs to his shoulders and he has a soft mustache that droops at the corners. He is proud that he can grow one at his age. He wears the rich clothing of a young gentleman in training for knighthood which he is, though no one knows when he will ever be knighted without a king to do it. I know the struggles. I know, I know. <sighs> Just don't know. I know nothing. He pinches an end off a fresh loaf of bread. Good morrow, Mark. What brings you here? I doubt if it's the same thing that brings you here. I've been working this morning. Fish for his lordship. Steph Stephen wrinkles his nose. Thought I smelt something. I came in for a bite of something to eat and it, and to look at something pretty like Miss Laura here. More weaponry training this afternoon. It could, wouldn't do to be weak from hunger. Your ears burning. You scrub away fiercely at the last few dishes in your wash tub. If you're not careful, you might have trouble to trouble to sink the sword of yours into. What? Whatever. Mark smiles and hooks his thumb into the into his belt. There is word that a band of robbers has slipped into the countryside and is hiding out. Indeed, that would never have happened with the old king here, Stefan sniffs. I'm supposed to go riding out tomorrow to scout the borders of the Damwood. Hobgoblins have been spotted. The Damwood, the cook, and you say together, you shudder as she points her finger. There's elves in them, Wids. Tricks, tricksty creatures. You be careful, young sir, if you go scouting there. Stefan smiles as he steals another pinch of bread. That's what a knight is supposed to do, Greta. Greta? Anyways, word of hobgoblin is serious business. You do well to remember that the cook scolds him. 
In the old days, the goblin wars were a terrible thing. Mart picks up an apple from the barrel near the door and tosses another one to Stefan, who spears it neatly on his dagger. When we were out tracking deer last eve, we saw something even more mysterious. What was it, you ask? Your heart beating wildly as you think of hobgoblins and elves. He looks around. Mind you, I'm not saying we actually saw it, just thought we might have. Out with it, man, Stefan says. Silvery white with a mane that touched the ground and a trough, a trufted, trufted tail passing through the grove like a cloud. The unicorn, you say? Oh my fucking god. Oh, my language. Everybody's like, why did I come in here? I came here for a persona and I'm getting a book read to me. I'm sorry, people, but I have something downloading. I didn't realize that an update was happening. I'll stop. I feel bad. I'm making your ears blear, bleed and I'm getting embarrassed. I feel so embarrassed. 88. You dry your hands off. Your mind full of wonder. The unicorn come to crown the new king. As legend says it will. What you wouldn't give to see that. And make a weaving of it. You just know that such an artwork might mean your whole future. Can you take me there? You ask Mark. He looks at you in surprise. The king's wood are not as wild as the damn wood, but too dangerous for you, know, for you, Laura. And besides, the unicorn won't be there now, but it might be. Stefan laughs and you roll at him. Just because I work in the kitchen doesn't mean doesn't mean I don't have dreams, too. His hazel eyes widen. I didn't say that, Laura. You didn't have to. You all think it. With tears in your eyes, you run from the kitchen to the tiny room in the cellar that you call your own. You bolt the door behind you and fall on your bed, crying. You fall asleep and wake up in the evening twilight as the cook knocks on your door softly. It's all right, Laura. You got one of the other girls working for me. You worked hard for me this morning and deserve a rest. Why don't you take tomorrow off? You can even take Will, me donkey, out riding if you want, when you feel like it. I've got supper held over for you on the hearth. Her heavy steps shuffle off. As you sit in the darkness of your room, a moonbeam lights the way through the tiny window. High in the wall, it streaks the corner where y your loom stands. You can see the picture there, half-woven. I do have talent, you whisper fiercely to yourself. I'm not going to be somebody and have fine clothes. I'm going to be somebody and have fine clothes and dance at the balls and eat off the dishes. An idea forms in your head. Tomorrow morning, before anyone wakes, you'll borrow the cook's donkey and go after the unicorn yourself. Oh, oh my god, it's almost done. Oh, oh yes, freedom! Freedom from listening to my boring ass reading. guys are lucky that you are free from the reading.
I don't even remember what I was doing. He's gonna give me the thing. What? So if you wanna go yeah. ahead, or you do whatever I'm chilling on my bed, I'm not in my bed, so mind your own biz, mm -hmm. whatever life is, we go through it. Hey, 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 you let the fire with the burning desire every day to play as fire. This character really drinks a lot of alcohol. When you grow up, are you going to drink alcohol too? Me? I've never thought about it actually. But I do hear that a lot of adults these days don't drink. Alcohol has a very mature feeling about it, doesn't it? I don't think I'm a fan of all the rowdy parties, but having a nice glass does look kind of cool. Speaking of, remember that bar scene? Wow, it's late. Watching those bonus clips took longer than I thought. Time I had to bed. Good night. Good morning. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. One this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. This time in particular, I believe this human is an acquaintance of yours. Goodbye now. Our next topic. else is gonna be here today but they said we still can't give you back your evoker I wasn't expecting them to that's why I'm in here in the first place oh yeah uh, 
how's that cut doing? Ah, right. Probably healed already, huh? So, uh, you're not drawing today? Does it matter? Well, uh, not really. Huh. Your flowers will take. Uh, the heat must have got to them. Oh, I know. Why don't I go buy you some fresh ones? What's your favorite kind of... Hey, what's wrong? <sighs> huh? Flowers? Those are cut flowers, right? Oh, how'd you do that? I gave them a little bit of my energy. I didn't know your healing powers could do stuff like that. It's like a miracle or something. It's nothing special. You have powers too, don't you? This is just another form they can take. Well, yeah, I guess. But that's about all I've got going for me. Without this power, I'd be a nobody. I just talk a big game, pretending like I'm some kind of hero. But in reality, I don't know what the hell I'm fighting for. In fact, I don't even really have a good reason to live. A good reason to live? Good reason. When I was a kid, I had this silly dream. A dream? I used to want to grow up to be a pro baseball player. Pretty stupid, huh? But I guess that's part of being a kid. I wouldn't really know. I don't remember much from my childhood. I only remember one thing. Being surrounded by white. Everything was white. Hmm. I hate hospitals. Oh. You do. Um. Sorry. But you've been coming to see me here. So, I don't mind as much this time. Shidori. It, you mean it? Hey, Nina. How are you? Then, I'll come to see you every day. Oh, poor me, I got the hiccups. Thank you for giving shouty out. Oh my god. Oh 
Accepting a request? Let's hear the results. How splendid! Very well then. Await a report of six. Very well, then. <laughs> oh, fudge buckets. Fudgy buckets. No problem. you like I'm sure this will prove to be useful you like that one have you decided? We have a deal. I'm doing some personal research, but I can't get my hands on certain items. If you find something interesting, bring it to me, will you? Is that all you need? Hope to see you soon.
Welcome to the Velvet Room. Are you in search of new power? What kind of persona do you desire? What kind of persona do you desire? your heart's content. This person, is this acceptable? Very well, it's yours. Ah, well then. Shall Are you finished? your next visit. Training to strengthen your core? It's a good idea if you want to shorten your runtime. You're less likely to injure yourself, too. I was talking with Kaz about putting it in the first year's practice routine, actually. Do you mind if we continue talking in the cafe? I'm a little hungry. like this you're lucky it's just me but what if you bumped into a scary man huh if you want to play do it at your schoolyard but we can't play there the sixth graders are always hogging everything by playing soccer said they'll move if we can beat them in a race Fourth graders, there's no way we could win. That's why we had to play tag here instead, Anti Yuko. I'll let the anti slide this time, but only because I feel sorry for you. All right, come with me. is amazing they said it's fine for us to use the schoolyard for a bit normally you wouldn't be allowed in here understand so don't touch anything you're not supposed to and if something happens let us know immediately can you promise that we promise good then practice until the big hand on that clock reaches 12 and don't go inside the school building Right, let's do this. Wait, come here for a second. You need to pump your arms more. And 
don't lift your leg so high, or you might pull a muscle. Come on, give it a try. You just gotta believe in yourself. Woohoo! Check this out. Wow, Kenshon, you're so fast! Hey, big sis, you should be our coach. Aw, I'm a real sucker when kids look at me that way. But I've never tried coaching before. What do you think I should do? Really think I should? isn't a decision to make lightly. All right, I'll be your coach. But I'm not gonna go easy on you guys, and no one's allowed to quit halfway either. Got it? Got it, Coach Hugo! Hey, is he gonna teach us too? Is he your boyfriend, Coach? Well, never you mind about that. Line up. I said I wouldn't go easy on you, didn't I? Think positive. If you think you're gonna lose, you will. Don't be afraid of them just because they're sixth graders. That, that sounds, sounds hard, hard, but, but okay. okay. Once they started calling me coach, I couldn't resist. Hey, um... I was wondering, would you maybe want to do this coaching thing together? I know I'm asking a lot, but I don't know much about racing. And plus, you're really athletic, too. Wait, she doesn't know much about racing, but she's on the track team? Hmm. So, if you'd coach them with me, I'd really appreciate it. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> Please? Honestly, I don't think I can handle it on my own. Oh, thank goodness. I'm sure those kids will be happy, too. Thanks. you for favors but I'll make it up to you one day
good day. Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. Oh my. You have my thanks. Very well, then. Good day. I shall be waiting, then. A shame. Very well, then. So have a look for yourself. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. I can't remember if I had saved it. Be right back, I heard a weird noise. 